There's just all kinds of opportunities with Cornerstone of Caring to revitalize and bring this campus to life. And now we're entering a new era for healthcare at the Western Campus, which includes specialization and specialization in, in some critical areas. The Ministry of Health and Infrastructure Ontario uh, worked very closely with Windsor Regional Hospital to put the planning together. We received 90% of the funding through the Ministry of Health to fund the infrastructure of this project. There is still 10% of that that has to be raised locally. And where Cornerstone of Caring comes in, they raise that 10%. We certainly want it to be well equipped so that when our staff are talking to our families or patients, they can say, yeah, we've got that or we can get that for you and we'll take care of it. When patients have needed a more comprehensive intervention or a longer stay in hospital, uh, they've been essentially uh, uh, transferred to the St. Thomas Psychiatric uh, Hospital site. It's bringing those individuals home where they belong and having them on site. We're going to have a 65 bed specialized mental health hospital at the end of the day at this campus. These patients necessitate and they deserve the subspecialized care from individuals from a setting where they can have the best treatment possible. We can assure patients that they're going to get the state-of-the-art uh, intervention and treatment that will be essentially second to none. When he first became ill, we didn't have anywhere to go. Um, and we have something. We're going to have something in our own community. We have a place where children are going to be able to go and families are going to be able to go to get help, not only for the person that's suffering, but for the family as well. And we didn't have that support. I believe it'll be wonderful again for patients, for their families, for mental health care workers, and certainly for the community. So we really hope that uh, the community will help to assist us and support us and bringing in the funds that'll help us to uh, make this dream come true. That Western Tower is going to be completely renovated. We are going to be putting in there a really wonderful state-of-the-art rehabilitation program. We are the regional rehabilitation services, so individuals who have been in an auto accident or maybe suffered a stroke can come here both on an inpatient and an outpatient basis to get those needed services and be able to get back to uh, the community. Most people have come from a level of high level independence and suddenly they're at a loss. They are not able to walk, they're not able to potentially possibly speak, get themselves dressed, get themselves out of bed, and we take them from that level of care up to a level that they can hopefully achieve as much independence as possible to do those things for their own dignity, for their own independence. I couldn't speak, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't do anything. You can't do it alone. The hospital has to help you and the hospital does help you. If they didn't have that, I would be sitting in the chair watching television. Who would like that? Not me. There was something inside me that said, you gotta work, and, but I can't do it by myself. If you have the proper staff, the proper facilities, the proper machinery that you need to give them, get them back and get their strength, and if you, you have that, then you wouldn't need the care afterwards. To me, the fix is greater if you do it at a, a, a greater pace in the beginning rather than just tending to them as they diminish in their skills of living. Life throws a curveball at you every so often, and you might not need it now or never had a loved one that need it, but you just never know. So by supporting it, you know it's there, and when you do need it, you know it's gonna be there for you and your loved ones.
we are going to have the regional complex continuing care facility was going to be one of the largest complex continuing care facilities in the province of Ontario and it's critical. Some days are bright, some days are not. We just have to take it as it comes. I've had many breakdowns because of the stress. Um, the nursing staff on that floor have put their arms around me like a blanket many times. And without them and their support, I don't know, it's been very tough. Finally, we're gonna have a facility that's gonna match the expertise of our staff that's always been there and possibly even allow our staff to excel further. We also want the whole environment of the campus to be one of calming, um, the ability to meditate, the ability to bring your family in with you to help in your healing process and in your care. So we're going to have a wonderful uh, healing garden as part of this project here on this campus. I say it's the greatest thing they could possibly do for their patients. The greatest thing. All patients should be able to get outdoors. What we are doing is developing a program that focuses on the patient's needs and ensuring that the services are there for rehabilitation, for physiotherapy services, for other types of services that allow a patient to heal that much faster. When I pull up and I drive and I park in this parking lot, I feel so much satisfaction knowing that I'm a part of it. That one day when we're done and we've reached our goal, I'm going to know in my heart that I've made other families feel comfort because of it. Individuals are able to donate through Cornerstone of Caring and those monies can go towards purchasing state-of-the-art equipment for individuals requiring rehab services, requiring specialized mental health services, requiring complex continuing care services. So to allow them to have the best care possible with the most state-of-the-art equipment allows them again to heal that much faster and uh, get home that much quicker. We need the community support in order for that to happen and we need to um, have them be part of this wonderful opportunity for Windsor-Essex County.